welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hi, my name is Madison. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. And I know I've been gone for like a month, but I'm back. And I hope you guys all had an amazing holiday season and New Year's with your family. I know I did and I'm ready to get back into everything. And I also wanted to say thank you guys so much for subscribing since my last video. We've literally gained like 300 followers uh, or subscribers, which I know the number doesn't matter, but like I literally didn't even think I would get 10. So it's seriously mind blowing. And it just makes, it like reassures me that you guys like what I'm creating and um, that it's helpful for you guys. So as you can tell by the title, this is going to be kind of some chemistry study tips. Um, I just finished chemistry at the beginning of December and I was really nervous to take it because math has never been a like strong subject for me. I just am horrible at math so I was like really worried about chemistry and I have no interest in chemistry whatsoever unlike anatomy like I find it so interesting how the body works and stuff so I was like really nervous but I found some study techniques that really helped me do well in the class and I'm hoping that they will help you too. This is just what worked for me so it may or may not work for you guys but I'm gonna try not to make this video too long and we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Alright so the first tips are obvious ones. I said this in my how to get an A in anatomy video is make sure you go to class. Now again this sounds so simple but there's gonna be so many times where you just don't feel like going to class or maybe you would rather do something else than go to class but it's so important to go to class. Um, it's hard when they're like early mornings and you don't want to get out of bed but I mean personally if I miss class um, like it'd be on my mind the whole day like I could be in class right now like oh my goodness then I get more stressed like I'd rather just go and get it done and over with instead of worrying about what I missed if that makes sense so Go to class. So the next tip that I have is when you go to class, make sure you take notes and pay attention because you can go to class and sit on your phone the whole time, but that's not gonna help you. So this is just the notebook I use. It's a Cal State Long Beach notebook. And I'm gonna show you guys my notes. I didn't have like a certain setup for it. I kind of just went with the flow of what she was writing on the board because with chemistry, you have a lot of like math, but then actual notes and some like diagrams. So I'm gonna flip the camera over and just kind of do a quick flip through of my notes. Um, it's not, like I said, it's not, there's not a certain way I set them up. I literally just wrote what she had on the board and used colors to help me remember. Okay guys, so like I said, this is just my notebook and I'm literally just going to kind of flip through and show you some of the pages. Again, there's like a bunch of charts and everything. I like to use like colorful pens and highlighters. Again, we have some math equations. So sometimes it might be easier to use pencil for the math. Um, I just use whiteout if I mess up. And I threw some sticky notes in here for like reminders. And again, I'm just kind of flipping through so you guys get like an idea here. I like use different colors too for like just different things. Sometimes I'll do like a color scheme depending on the section. And um, right here at the top, I'll write like exam form material just so I know when I go back to study. Um, but yeah, see there's some pencil there. But yeah, for the most part, I wrote in pen so yeah that is pretty much how my notes looked so for each exam I think I had about five or six exams in my chem class and then almost every class we had like a lab quiz um I should also mention too chemistry you'll normally have like a chemistry lecture and a chemistry lab similar to anatomy mine was four credit hours and um I actually, my lab and lecture teacher was the same. It was just like a back-to-back, -back, like three-hour class, which was really nice because um, you can just get it all done in one day. What we had was we had quizzes that were out of 10 points, and I just have like all of mine here. Just kind of showing you all of them. And so then she would obviously give them back to us, and I would study from those quiz questions for the exams because obviously they're not going to be the same but it's going to be like the same kind of questions and if your teacher puts worksheets online for you to practice from that aren't graded do them because they're going to help you so much um here I just what I did was I just took pens and then when I um like crossed out like the same units I would just use red and I'll just flip through. I like to make everything really neat so it is easy. Well, I think it's neat. So it's easy for me to go back and study the material. So I'll just show you some of them. 
And the thing is, which is super awesome about chemistry is even if your teacher doesn't provide worksheets, you can look up the material you're learning and there will be so many worksheets online with like answer keys so you can practice. Cause like I got to the point where I studied this, like these sheets so much before each exam that I was like memorizing how to do the whole thing. So it's like, do I really know how to do this or am I just memorizing it because I like know the numbers that I'm gonna get because I've done it so much if that makes sense so if you just look up online like for example this was like our very first time we went over measurement units so, like grams liter kelvin there's so many conversion practice problems online like anything you can look up and there'll be like practice problems and also this is what I put my textbook in just like a binder and it's really it's a really big textbook. So what I did was I just pulled out the chapters that we were doing that week so I didn't have to carry this heavy thing all around. Um, and at the end of most chemistry books, like I'm almost positive, they have practice problems. So you can do that. That's what I would do to prepare for some exams. I didn't do much like reading in the book. I did more of just like the practicing the math. Um, and for my chemistry exams, they were mostly like math related, but then sometimes she would throw in questions having to do with like like chemical reactions or equations and stuff that we went over so you have to put it in words and sometimes that would throw me off so that is when it's really important to have a book so you're able to kind of go in or even if you want to look certain things up on the internet or your notes because chances are she'd go over it or he or she would go over it in class um and also what I would do obviously you guys know like my huge like number one tip for studying anything is a dry erase board again the small one's really nice because you can throw it in your bag with you and take it to like the library if you guys don't have like the huge dry erase boards at your library or literally like anywhere um and yeah I feel like these tips are like pretty basic but that's literally what I did so what I did was I went to class and I took notes I paid attention I went to every class I didn't miss one um, and I know sometimes like that's not practical like sometimes you do have to miss which is okay but just try to like make stuff up or get notes from someone you know and um, just really like pay attention try not to drift off I know the classes can be a little bit long and boring um, also practice the problems if they give you material that's not graded do that because that's how you're gonna learn repetition learning how to do the problems it's not like memorization which I'm pretty good at memorization so like chem was completely different than anatomy obviously because you have to actually work out these equations and know like units and that's another thing is make sure you add units I miss so many points for like forgetting to add like units on the end so make sure you do that but I hope this video was helpful I know it's really short but that's just really what I did um I just kept going over the problems all the time so I hope this was kind of helpful I don't know if it is but this was requested and this is what I did to get a good grade in the class so if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and be on the lookout for vlogs coming really soon because I'm starting up in a couple weeks and if you guys have an amazing day and I'll talk to you guys later bye